when we have the beautiful trees, you all know what they do, right? Okay, first, I want everyone to breathe in and breathe out, okay? Now again, second time. Now again, third time. So, what are you breathing in? Oxygen. And where is that oxygen coming from? The trees. Yes. So, it is very important for us to have trees around us, right? Yes. So, but so we should not cut the trees, right? Yes. If anyone is cutting the trees, we should tell them to not cut the trees. And we should also plant more and more new trees, new plants, right? We can give more oxygen. And more oxygen we get, we are more healthier, right? Because so we get good, clean oxygen. So, my son, what I did, I thought so many people are cutting trees in the rest of the, everywhere. So, I said to myself that, I want to go around the world and tell everyone that do not cut the trees and plant more and more and save water. We, we have to save water also, right? Yes. We should not just let the taps open and leave it. We should save the water and also we should, when we don't, we don't use the light, we don't need the lights, switch it off. We don't need the TVs, when we are not there, we should switch it off, we should save it. Because it creates carbon dioxide again. Carbon, right? You all know, right? Yes. So, what I did, I wanted to create longest fabric, world's longest fabric with messages, which can give attention, right? When it's long, then it gives attention. That way I want to aware everyone how important the trees are and what the trees do for us, how it helps us. It gives us shades, it gives us fruits to eat, and then it gives oxygen for us to breathe, right? They are our best friends, right? Yes. Okay, so what I did, I went around the world, I met different people, and then I collected messages about our environment, about our nature, right? on fabrics. They wrote on the fabrics. I'm going to show you now on the screen here. Yeah. <laughs> then you will know. So what I did after collecting, then I thought, I want to start my journey presenting this long fabric, not just from any country or any school. So I thought I want to make it more strong that people will understand how serious the, our nature we have to take care of about our environment. So then I went to the North Pole. You know where the North Pole is? Yes. Yes. And you know the Arctic Ocean? Yes. Yes, I went there. And then, first I went there, I was a freezing cold there. Extreme freezing cold, not like this. And then I presented it there first, right on the Arctic Ocean. This long fabric. After that, the journey started from the Arctic Ocean. And I started presenting in schools. Awareing children, how important, telling all the other children also how important for us to take care of the trees and what they do, right? So I'm going to show you a few pictures and a video and after that I'm going to open my fabric then you all can walk around and see the messages what different people from different parts of the world, what they wrote on the fabrics, right? Are you all ready? Yes! Okay. Why did you want to start helping the world? What made you want to? That's a very good question. Uh, Put your hands down. Now we're listening. I realized that a lot of children are not healthy. And then I again, after I have connected with Sick Kids Hospital. So for the last like five years in Canada. Then what I learned was a lot of children are not uh, healthy. The reason is number one is our uh, environment. So then I thought from my side, as my share, I want to do whatever I can do for our uh, earth, for nature. So that at least the next generation 
we have a better clean and more better oxygen so they can have a better healthy life. Morgan? That's the reason why I thought, okay, I should do this. <coughs> life is, I thought, whatever I can, I want to do first. Yeah. Morgan? Answer? Uh -huh. uh, what, what do you think of doing with silk? Silk? I'm a fashion designer. My background? I'm a couture fashion designer. I, I used to make uh, long evening gowns and wedding gowns, big ones. So because I was in the fabric industry, so my mind went to the fabrics. Then again, I thought something big in the fabric, then I can get the attention from everywhere. So that's why my mind went to the fabric first. <laughs> that's a good question too. Yes, um, a star? Um, how many places have you been to to collect the like, Collect the messages on the fabric. Uh, about 38 countries. Okay, I think maybe one more because we're going to have math in a few minutes. So um, let's go with Jack. Can you repeat again, please? Oh, favorite place. That's a good question. Um, I love, when I went to the Arctic Ocean, the North Pole, I like that. The reason why is like, it's so cold there and uh, still people live there in the Arctic Ocean. So that was very interesting for me. So I like that too. Okay. Um, I think we're going to hold on our questions now because we do have math. <laughs> and we do want to give the kids about five minutes maybe to write a little bit about what they um, right or so, um, would it be okay to start math? Let's play. Can, you have, with you? can you have a quick uh, uh, picture with everyone? Sure. Um, you guys got to walk that way, because otherwise you just... Can you walk that way? Yeah. Okay. No, I'm okay, I'm okay. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. I want to hold right here. 
Hi, I'm Brian LeCron. I'm the principal here at Brookdale Elementary School. And I want to just uh, thank Satish for bringing in the beautiful silk. Um, but more importantly than the beautiful silk is the messages that were on it. Um, I think it offered our children a lot of opportunity to reflect on what truly is important for our, ourselves here and some things that we can think about as we uh, move forward into our 21st century, particularly about what we can do to save the, the planet Earth. And um, obviously very important to, uh, to consider, um, and I think our, our students are in the process of looking at that right now, but it's definitely something that can't be a one-shot deal, and we'll take pride in continuing our efforts to take a look at uh, ways to conserve and, and uh, make our Earth a better place.